Hey guys, it's Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, I just told you what my name is. Anyways, so for today's video, we are going to be doing a hair care routine. In this video, I'm going to tell you all the products I use on my hair, how I use them, and my six big tips on how to keep your hair healthy. And at the end, I'm going to show you how I curled my hair to look like this. So without further ado, let's just get right on into the video. Okay, first things first, my six big tips. So the first big tip that I have for you guys is using a satin pillowcase. Using a cotton pillowcase is pretty damaging on the hair. It causes a lot of friction and it can really dry out your hair rather than using a satin pillowcase that is going to cause way less friction and help to hold all the oils in your hair. So my next big tip is going to be going to sleep with your hair in loose braids or twists. It's going to be a lot more beneficial and a lot better on your hair than putting it in a bun or a ponytail or even leaving it down. My next big tip is going to be washing your hair with warm water, not hot water. Using super, super hot water on your hair is very, very damaging and very, very drying. So just use warm water. Nobody wants to shower in cold water, so you don't need to use cold. Warm is perfectly fine, but warm is way better than hot. Okay, my next big tip for you guys is to stop using cotton towels on your hair to hold it up after showering. It's super damaging and causes a lot of friction. Whereas when you can just use like a soft t-shirt or a microfiber towel and it's going to cause a lot less friction and a lot less damage. My next tip and probably the most important tip of them all is to stop washing your hair every day. Washing your hair every day is so bad, especially if you want to grow your hair. Your hair needs all of those natural oils to help your hair grow long, strong, and healthy. So stop washing your hair every day. It's just not good for it. I know you've all heard this a million times, so I'm not going to go that much into it, but we all know that it's bad. Okay, so my last big tip I have for you guys is to stop using drugstore products on your hair. Invest the money into buying professional, good quality hair products. Your hair will thank you, and it's just way better on your hair than using drugstore products because as we all should know by now, drugstore products are not good. They are cheap to buy and they are cheaply made, so they are not good for your hair, point blank, period. Okay, now getting into my hair care routine and what products I use and how I use them. This obviously starts off in the shower, so first we obviously are going to shampoo our hair. So the shampoo that I use is the Olaplex number no. 4 shampoo. I love Olaplex for many, many reasons, but one thing I love about it is you do not need to use that much. They are very, very concentrated and a little bit goes a long way. So I will just take my Olaplex and use it on my scalp only. You guys should know by now, but you do not need to use shampoo on your ends. Only use shampoo on your scalp to get rid of all that buildup. And when you rinse the shampoo out of your hair from your roots, they're going to go down your ends, therefore cleaning your ends. So you don't need to waste the product also on your ends. So if it is a day that I'm going to be using my purple shampoo, then I will go in with my Purology purple shampoo and I will use that again just on my roots and bring in the access down to my ends to help tone any super brassy colors in my hair away. And also it helps get rid of any of the extra buildup on my hair that I didn't get from the first time shampooing. And if it's not a day I'm using my purple shampoo, I will go in with the Olaplex one more time and shampoo again to get rid of all of the extra buildup on my hair so that I can leave my hair super, super clean and ready for the moisture with the conditioner. Okay, so with that being said, the next part is going to be conditioner and treatment. So about once a week, I will use the Redken Extreme Bleach Recovery something water I don't know how to say the word but I will once a week use that on my hair and I will put that on before my conditioner and then I will take my wide toothpick pick through my hair very gently so that there's no tangles and then I will take a little bit of my Olaplex number no. 5 conditioner and put that over top I will let this sit on my hair anywhere from five minutes to as long as it takes me to wash my face and shave my legs if I'm gonna be shaving that day but if not, I will leave it on for at least five minutes. And if I'm not using the Redken treatment, I will just go in with my Olaplex and then pick through my hair with my wide tooth pick. 
and again leave that on my hair for at least five minutes so that it can really absorb a lot of the moisture coming from the conditioner then after I shower I use a couple products on my hair to help continue moisturizing my hair while I'm out of the shower so first I will take the Olaplex number no. six leave-in conditioner and then I will take the Joyco blonde life brightening oil and I will use a little bit of the Olaplex and about two or three pumps of the oil I'll mix that together and then I will put that through my hair after brushing it and really just get that all worked in through my ends so that my hair can be shiny and soft and so that my hair can absorb the moisture from those products through the next few days when I'm not washing my hair so that is all of the products that I use on my hair and now we're going to get into how I curled my hair so if you guys want to see how I curled my hair I'm about to show you so here we go okay so now we're gonna get into how I curl my hair so the first thing first the curler that I use is this curling wand unfortunately I you guys can't really buy it because I got it for free when I joined Monet which I do not work with them anymore I very very quickly stopped trying to sell their products but there was a short period last year where I had partnered with them and I was selling their products but again I, I very quickly stopped doing that just to clarify okay so that's the curler that I use because it is a great curler I'm not gonna say it's bad and it's the only good hair curler I own so that's the one I use and then I do use a heat protectant obviously because I've been preaching this whole video about keeping your hair as healthy as possible so obviously if I wasn't using a heat protectant I wouldn't listen to anything I was saying <laughs> so the heat protectant spray that I use is the Chi 44 iron guard and it is obviously just a heat protectant spray so basically what I do is I'm just gonna spray this all over my hair and then I'm just gonna brush my hair to kind of work it through all of my hair and so that my hair doesn't have any tangles in it because it'll just help it to curl better if it's you know not tangled I guess <laughs> and then what I do is honestly super simple and I honestly do not curl every single piece of my hair because it's very time-consuming I have very thick hair even if it doesn't look like it so it's kind of hard to curl all of it but basically what I'll do is I just start on one side I'll take a piece from the bottom and I will just curl that one piece and then I just kind of hold it for a few seconds while it's hot and then I'll just kind of drop it so basically what I do is I just go on the bottom portion of my head and I will curl a few pieces so that it obviously doesn't look like I have straight hair underneath so my hair is naturally wavy so I can pretty easily get away with not curling every single piece of my hair but I feel like this would probably work for people who have straight hair too because you really just want to fill the big spots with curls and then it will kind of give the illusion that it's all curled so as you can see I've only curled three pieces on the under portion of my hair but you can't really tell that half of it well the majority of it isn't curled because I curled pieces in just the right places if you know what I mean okay well after I do the bottom I will just go in and kind of just take some pieces on the top section and just start curling those okay so as you can see I have taken a few pieces on the top and curled it now obviously you can tell that the underneath of this is not curled so what I'll do is I'll go in between those pieces and I'll just take a really fat section of hair and curl that okay so as you guys can see, it kind of looks like basically all of my hair on this side is curled other than my curtain bangs, obviously, but I obviously curl those separate. So I'm just gonna take the section of my curtain bangs and all I do is just curl them like this. I just hold it for a few seconds and then it looks like this. The big thing is I always curl away from my face. I don't do any towards my face. They are all away from my face. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side and then I will come back and we will finish it off together. Okay, so as you can tell, I have now curled all of my hair. Well, you know, the majority of it anyways. So now I'm going to show you guys how I actually make it look good because God knows this just does not look good. So first thing what I do is I just take my fingers and I run it through the body of the curls and this just helps me to loosen them up a bit and just give my hair more volume and it also helps you to not be able to tell that half of my hair is straight still so then for my curtain bangs what I do is I just grab it 
and I just brush it back like this and then eventually it's like that so yeah it's really simple and then I also shake my head so we're gonna do that real quick okay that's literally it that's how I curl my hair nothing too special really fast really easy but it turns out looking pretty good, so yeah. Okay guys, that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, you should definitely give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any more videos that you wanna see from me, and if you're not subscribed already, you might as well subscribe because I post every Sunday, Wednesday, and I'm going to be adding Friday into the mix, so three videos a week that you can be seeing from me. So with that being said, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. I'm pulling up late, back on my bullshit, she think it's a phase I got relations, I gotta maintain I'm two different people, my side and my main Yeah, I'm sober, I'm an addict I'm a low life, I got habits But I refuse to be average Really so tired of acting Don't know what I miss no more Too bad you don't hit me more I'm bad when I get too bored Careful what you wishing for I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stone cold killer